the Roman Emperor Publius Septimius Geta, born on March 7, 189 AD, was the younger son of Septimius Severus and Julia Domna. In 198 AD, he was made Caesar and later in 209 AD, he was given the title of Augustus by his father. During the campaign against the Britons in the early 3rd century AD, propaganda depicted the family as a harmonious unit sharing the responsibilities of governance. Caracalla acted as Severus' second-in-command while Geta handled administrative duties. However, the brothers' rivalry and animosity persisted. Following the death of Septimius Severus in 211 AD, Geta and Caracalla were declared joint emperors. Despite their mother's efforts to maintain her influence, the brothers remained estranged from each other during their journey from Britain to Rome, never lodging in the same house or sharing a meal. Their inability to share power culminated in Geta's murder in December 211 AD. The two brothers' joint reign proved to be unsuccessful, as the imperial palace was split into two sections, with each prohibiting the other's servants from entering. Their meetings were only allowed in the presence of their mother, Julia Domna, and under heavy military guard due to the constant fear of assassination. The stability of their government was maintained through the guidance and leadership of their mother, along with senior courtiers and military generals. According to historian Herodian, the brothers initially considered dividing the empire in two, but their mother strongly opposed the idea, and it was ultimately rejected by the end of 211 AD, as the situation became unbearable. During the festival of Saturnalia on December 17, Caracalla unsuccessfully attempted to assassinate Geta. The following week, he convinced his mother to arrange a peace meeting in her apartments, where he had Geta deprived of his bodyguards and murdered by centurions in her presence. Caracalla ordered the erasure of Geta's memory, which was carried out meticulously, as evidenced by the archaeological record. Despite reportedly being tormented by guilt over his actions, Caracalla attempted to atone for his deed by proscribing all of his brother's former followers. According to Cassius Dio, approximately 20,000 people were killed or exiled on these charges during this period. The surviving marble portraits of Geta are scarce, likely due to the thorough damnatio memori that erased his images. However, Roman coins featuring his likeness are abundant and offer insight into how Geta, his father Septimius Severus, and mother Julia Domna wished him to be perceived by the Roman people, particularly the military. It is difficult to distinguish images of Geta from those of his older brother Caracalla until their father's death. The two were intended to be presented as equally suitable heirs to the throne, demonstrating the dynasty's depth. On his coins, Caracalla, who became Augustus in 198 AD, was depicted with a laurel wreath, while Geta remained bareheaded until he himself became Augustus in 209 AD. Between 209 AD and their father's death in February 211 AD, both brothers were portrayed as equally mature young men with a short, full beard, indicating their readiness to take over the empire. After the death of Septimius Severus and before Geta's assassination, Caracalla's portraits remained unchanged, but Geta was depicted with a long beard resembling his father's. This was likely an attempt to establish himself as the rightful successor to his father's legacy. The Severin Tondo panel painting, which depicts Septimius Severus and his family, features an obliterated face believed to be that of Geta. Geta was interred in Hadrian's mausoleum, but the tomb of Geta on the Appian Way, traditionally attributed to him, may have been misidentified. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel.